You'll have to keep an eye out, see if you need letting in again. Okay. Yeah. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Thank you for coming to play today. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hope you're all right. Hello. Thank you for coming to play with me. We're going to do a nice little activity. Are you joining us? Are you joining? Are you coming in? Who else? Is there only no family that are Uh, Not yet. No, no one from our family. Good morning. I've just got Macy here chatting away to me. Good morning. Are you coming in? No. Okay. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. I hope you're all all right. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're okay. Right, we're going to get started this morning because, uh, like yesterday, I said that, um, ah, I'm May, so I'm glad I'm in Olivia here. He might come. No, I think he's gone upstairs. Uh, good morning. Hope you're all okay. Hi, guys. Really nice to see you. Okay, lots of people. Uh, I've been getting questions about um, the lives and stuff. So all the lives are on Instagram and Facebook. When we're finished at some point during the day, I don't know what time, uh, they do get saved then on YouTube. So you can go back. But there's loads. There's all the ones that I've been doing during lockdown are saved on YouTube and... I've been going live uh, every weekday for almost three years. So there's all of those as well. So you can never be stuck for ideas. Some aimed at the children, some aimed at the parents. Right, hello everybody. Lovely to see you. Going to share with you what you need this morning. I did publish it and then realised I've forgotten one of the main things. So this morning you need some card or paper. I am using my trusty colour card. But you can have, works absolutely fine if you've got paper as well and then maybe you just want to colour it in and things like that. So you need some colour card or paper. Uh, now then, um, a hole punch. If you've got a hole punch, you really need um, you really need to use a hole punch. If not, you're going to have to look for something sharp that's going to make a hole and you will probably have to do it for your child. So whether that's a sharp pencil through into a blob of blue tack or something like that, I'm not sure. See what you've got. Uh, but you will need some sort of hole punch. Um, and you will need a pair of scissors and a felt tip. I've left all my felt tips over there, excuse me. Here we go. Sorry about that. I've only brought one felt tip over. Good morning, everybody. Hello. So you're going to need some felt tips and colours. And then you're going to need... I like to use paper straws for this. So you're going to need, if you've got paper straws... Plastic are fine. Um, obviously, I prefer using the paper straw because the plastic has not been great for the environment. So, trying to get into the habit of using paper straws if you can. But if you're using up some plastic ones, then no problem at all. If you don't have those, you do need some sort of stick. So, maybe you've got a lollipop stick, but just bear in mind that that probably won't fit through a hole punch hole. So, you're going to have to have a little play around. Or if not, you might have some pipe cleaners that you could use instead. Might be a bit easier for little ones to handle. All right, so I'm going to get cracking this morning. I'm going to get making because what we're going to make this morning are these really cute little paper flowers. I don't know if you can see them. It's a really nice way of playing with um, a hole punch and getting to use our hole punch. It doesn't matter which way around it goes, actually. Got a little concertina flower and then I've put some leaves on as well. So we're going to have a go at making these. So you can see what we're going to be making. And it was only when I was having a little practice this morning um, but I thought, oh, wouldn't they be nice if they went into an egg box? So if you do have an egg box or something at home, it'd be quite nice to pierce the egg box as well and we could put those in. You could do a, a lovely flower arrangement, couldn't you? If not, just put them in a paper cup or a vase or something like that and you can make a nice little bunch of flowers because it's always nice to give flowers, isn't it? And especially with Easter and spring coming up, you might want to give um, some Easter flowers to somebody. So this is what we're going to be making this morning. So, let's get started, shall we? Right, I'm just going to... I thought Mace was going to join me this morning, guys. So, I was all ready for him and he's decided he doesn't want to. So, I'm just going to grab this. Sorry. 
not really at all, am I? I'm just going to grab this so you can see it a little bit easier. I thought Mace was going to be uh, playing with me today, but it is obviously decided not to right so you can use any color you want for your flower um and if you've got white paper absolutely fine maybe you want to color it in at the end and you can decorate them and things i've got a lovely purple one already but let's go for a different color because it's nice to mix and match them up isn't it so what have i got oh i've got a lovely bright yellow i'm going to go for yellow what color paper are you going to use or what color flower are you going to make all got all different colours. We'll end up with a rainbow of flowers. How lovely would that be? Okay, now then, to make your flower, um, I've made mine that big so that it fits really nice onto the straw. So I'm using quarter of an A4. You can see that. Quarter of an A4. So I'm going to cut it so that I've got an A4 piece to cut my flower out of. So very quickly, I'm gonna fold my paper in half. Oh, we've got some yellows, we've got some pink flowers coming, and blue and green. What color flowers are you going to make, guys? Oh, an orange, how lovely. Okay, so I've just folded my paper in half like a nice big door. I'm going to chop it in half, and you can save that, can't you, for doing something else. Maybe if you're going to make some more flowers later or maybe you're going to make some an easter card i don't know how exciting red white yellow oh we've got all sorts of lovely flowers these flowers are going to be absolutely beautiful it's going to be like a rainbow and then now that i've cut it in half i'm going to fold that one in half again and we're going to cut it again so we've got a nice little piece you could do great big flowers if you want to but we'll just do this size for now so that they fit on our straw. So can you see, I folded it in half again and we're gonna cut down that line. So now we've got a quarter. No one wants to do dinosaur flower, love it. Love it. I love when we're at that age where everything has to be a certain thing. We were trucks in our house. We used to have trucks, everything. Grown out of it slightly. Okay, so once you've got your paper ready, give me a thumbs up and then I know that you've got your paper is ready. And we're ready to start drawing our flowers on there. So give me a nice thumbs up. We've got pink flowers. We've got lovely. Oh, it sounds really nice. I think they're going to be beautiful. Super duper. I'm getting lots of thumbs up. So I think people are getting ready. Super. Right. So having a look at the flower I made earlier. I love saying that because I think I sound like I'm from Blue Peter or something. I can pretend, can't I? Um, so I've made mine almost like a tulip shape. Can you see? So it's nice and round at the bottom and then it's got a zigzag on the top. So on our piece of paper, that's what we're going to be drawing. I'm going to speed it off for you to show you what it looks like. So it's, a, it's like drawing a great big smile, a lovely big smile at the bottom and then a zigzag on the top. Okay, so a nice big smile, a huge smile, because it's a lovely day. We're gonna have a lovely day of playing. Gonna do a great big smile. Or if you're doing your sounds, your phonics, you're doing an uh, uh, uh. And then a zigzag across the top, okay? So on your piece of paper, if you choose one of your pens, we're gonna have a go at doing a lovely big smile. Do a lovely big smile. Now encourage the boys and girls to draw their own flower. It's really important that they have a go on their own and do it for themselves. So can you see I've got a nice big smile there or an uh, uh, uh for our phonics. And then we're going to do a zigzag across the top. Now then, so you can do a nice big zigzag or a little zigzag. I've gone for a little zigzag. I did a big zigzag on that one. And I'm doing a little zigzag on there. We're just, someone's asking what size paper. I've just used quarter of an A4. So anything is fine. Okay. So hopefully you've had a go at drawing your, I've drawn a tulip today. You could do any type of flower, couldn't you? But mine's a tulip shape. The lovely big smile. And then a little zigzag across the top. And then once you've done that, you've guessed it, I think you know what we've got to do next. What do you think we're going to do next? Hmm. 
Well, I asked you to get some scissors. So, do you think maybe we're going to cut it out? That's right, we're gonna use our scissors and we're gonna very carefully have a go at cutting it out. Try if you can, stay on the lines, but we all know it's really tricky. And we're having a good practice, aren't we? So let's practice with our scissors and see if you can cut along your lines. Now then, like I always say, we're in no rush. Take your time, take your time, guys. And we're gonna very slowly cut out your flower. Nice and slowly. Watch those fingers. Watch those fingers. I want you to carefully cut around your flower and cut in the big smile first. That lovely big smile that you drew. We're cutting around the bottom of the flower. If you can, stay on the lines, but it doesn't matter if not. It's about having a good go. And any parents that have been watching me for a while will know that I will always say, it's about giving the children the opportunity to have a go and do it for themselves. And I know scissors are tricky. And if you're wanting to practice some scissor skills, using some scissors with Play-Doh, soft fruits, noodles, spaghetti, anything like that. It's a really nice way of it, helping children to practice with their scissors. But it's about, when, whenever we do arts and crafts, it's about the skills, practicing all those lovely skills. It's not about it looking perfect. So, oh, I've got my spiky bit now. Oh, it looks like a pair of teeth, doesn't it? Look like a monster with a pair of teeth. I know the lady that uploads my video onto YouTube, she's gonna cut that bit, isn't she? She's gonna screenshot that bit and use it as a front cover. I bet she does. I don't know if I've seen if Bex is on today. Um, so there we go, I've cut out my flower. Actually, when I turn it upside down, it looks a bit like a Halloween ghost, doesn't it? Ooh, a little bit. We're not making those today. We're making a lovely flower. So, um, give us a wave once you're ready and we'll do the next stage. Oh, you are there, Vex. Don't you be screenshotting that one. <laughs> okay, so once you've got your lovely flower ready, give me a wave. We've got plenty of time, don't rush. While you're doing that, I'm gonna let the dog in because he's at the back door, so excuse me. Do you think I'll ever be able to do a video in peace without a dog or a, ch a child interrupting me? I'm not sure. Sometimes the dog's worse than the child. Morning. Right, okay, super duper. So we've got our flower cut out. Now this is the fun bit. Because this bit, we're gonna have a go at folding our flower to make a concertina. Isn't that a fabulous word? I love that word. Do you wanna have a go? A concertina. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? And we're gonna have a go at folding, it's like a zigzag, folding our flower one way and then the other to make like a li little zigzag, okay? So I'm going to, I'll have a go first, I'll show you. And we'll want them quite small, not too big, but big enough to get your hole punch on, okay? So about one to two centimeters, but I know that doesn't mean much to our younger ones. So it's about having a fold, fold it one way, press it down really hard, Use those fingers to press it down and then you're going to fold it back on itself. So grown-ups, you probably need to be on hand for this one. So put your cup of tea down, put your cup of coffee down and help them out. I'm only teasing, I'm only joking. That's it, so we're folding it one way and then the other. And you don't need loads, I think I've done about one, two, four folds. Push, push, push. Give it a good push so that they so that they stick. And then you can pull it out again. You can see that it's started to fold your flower. It makes it all crinkly, doesn't it? Have you ever tried um, crinkle cut crisps? Oh, that's hard to say, isn't it? Crinkle cut crisps or crinkle cut chips. You get them and they have those funny zigzags, don't they? So once you've done that, hopefully you've managed to fold it or someone has helped you to fold it. This is the bit. If you've got a hole punch, that you're going to need your hole punch. Now then, if you don't, grown-ups, you are going to need to help this one. You're going to need to try and have a go at making a hole. <laughs> so whether you use something nice and sharp instead. Okay. Oh, someone's saying these would be a lovely addition to Zara's flower shop. That sounds nice. Flower shops are nice. I love doing garden centres this time of year. 
always nice to do and nice to do role play outside isn't it so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a hole in the middle of our flower and you may need to help grown-ups but I'd like your little ones to have a go if they can you're gonna push down hard and it should pop a hole out there we go and if you keep it together if you keep holding it together and don't open it yet it makes it a lot easier for putting your paper straw through which <laughs> for a minute there I just couldn't see it okay so now I've got my paper straw you might have something slightly different like a pipe cleaner or a lollipop stick or even a stick from the garden would be nice for this one and you just have a go pushing it through the hole and then this is where you start to spread it out pull it down a bit have a little fiddle pull it down and there we go Starting to look like a flower You see that? I don't know whether there's straw at the front or straw at the back. That's better. Does it really matter? Does it? There you go. You make some lovely flowers. Should I put that one back on and then we can see them? And then finally, we're just going to add some leaves on. Don't have to do this bit, but I think it makes it look really effective. You might need to give it just a little wiggle when you've, once you've fed it through. And there you go. So now you've made your flowers. Lovely, aren't they? It's like the hungry caterpillars eating our flower. Great idea. Yeah, that'd be a nice story to do with this one, wouldn't it? The hungry caterpillar. So there we go. And obviously you don't have to do flowers. You could do all sorts of different things. All the different foods that the hungry caterpillar eats. And you've made your little flower. Now all I'm going to have a go is adding on some leaves. Now I've done two. You can do as many leaves as you want to, can't you? Because our flowers in the garden have all sorts of different numbers. And I'm just sticking on two leaves. So I'll show you. I'll slide it off. And so I've cut it out in this funny shape. I don't know what you call that shape. Almost looks a bit like a fish, doesn't it? And I've cut out this shape and then I've had a go at putting just one hole punch in the end and then you can feed it on to make the leaf. Okay, so we're gonna have a little go at that. I have some green card. Have I left it out, that over there as well? No. So with the same size paper, using just a quarter, is that we've got lots of paper left over for doing other Easter things, doesn't it? I'm going to fold it over and I'm just going to cut out a leaf shape. Very basic leaf shape. Because when you fold it over, you get two at the same time. It's magic, isn't it? There we go. I've got some nice big leaves on this one. So I've just cut out a very basic leaf shape. And again, I'm going to use my hole punch. Love using a hole punch. Hole punch are brilliant. If you've got one, nice to use in activities. Something that I always say to have in your cupboard. And then all we're going to do, now you've got your leaves with the hole punch in, is you can feed them on. Pop them onto your straw. There we go. Now we've got a little bunch of spring-like flowers, haven't we? So I've got I've got yellow and a purple tulip. Could do all sorts of colours. I think they'd look really effective if you did lots and lots and lots of different colours. And if you saw right at the beginning, I said I had an idea only after I'd posted, and once I was having a little play around with my flowers, that I thought an egg box would be really nice to use to put your flowers in. So using some scissors or maybe a sharp pencil works fine with... Um, or a pen works fine with a egg box one day I will have a pen to hand I have to use my little boy's carrot pen and all I'm going to do is pierce a hole in the bottom of the compartment of the egg box and then you can sit your flower into the egg box like that do one over here it could be a nice little activity, a nice little arrangement. If you are doing a flower shop or a garden centre today, these could be really pretty, couldn't they? There we go, put those in. And you could sell your flowers with some little packets of seeds and a little pot of money and you've got a little garden centre. Yeah, how are you getting on? Did you manage? Did you do it? What do your flowers look like? I can't wait to see... 
can't wait to see the pictures of your flowers. Okay, so I'm gonna end there then, guys. Thank you very much for coming to play with me today. I hope you've managed to make your paper flowers too, and I'd love to see them. I always love to see the pictures of what you guys have been making at home, because they're always a lot better than mine. I know they are, and I know that we're gonna have loads of different colors as well. So, enjoy making your flowers. If you want to make more and make someone that you love a bunch of flowers, maybe one of the grown-ups that lives in your house might like a nice bunch of paper flowers, or you could use them to go and do a garden centre like one of the little girls was doing, I can't remember now, um, was doing a little garden centre or flower shop or something. It'd be really nice to play with out, if you've got an outdoor area or somewhere with a little pot of money and you could advertise your flowers for sale. Right then, thank you very much guys. Tomorrow we will be doing the last Easter activity of the week. That's been a quick week, hasn't it? And can I also ask that you guys keep an eye out because I have a big announcement coming tomorrow which I'm very excited about and can't wait for you all to see. Right, okay. Have a lovely day playing everybody. Please do send me your photos. I can't wait to see what you've made and as always, happy playing. Bye guys.